upgrade out of the shotgun. He's got his running back Carson Steele. And they're going to reverse on the first play and a flea flicker. They get intercepted. Picked up by Tennessee. Tamarian McDonald with a takeaway for the Vols. With the double reverse here. Watch Aaron Beasley, Mike Kleinbacker working off the edge, working through a block here to get to John Paddock. And that forced the Aaron pass. And then coming back the other way, a conversation we're going to have about who can stand up on the outside as you see the interception one more time for Tennessee. So here's Hendon Hooker, fifth year senior out of Greensboro, North Carolina. And he delivers the outside of the flag on the play inside the 10 to Jalen Hyatt. He'll stretch it over the goal line. If it stands, it's a 23 yard touchdown. And it's a big if. As you see a play action pass by Hendon Hooker here. It's going to be a wheel route on the outside by Hyatt. A wheel stop, they call it. Coverage was over the top. Made a great move to get in the end zone. Carson Steele, his tailback, ran for 891 yards last year as a freshman. They're going to throw it again, and this one to the outside, and that's Jay Sean Jackson. Paddock was a two time All State performer, Bloomfield Hills High School in Michigan. Faces a four man rush. And is able to check down and find his tight end, and that will go for a Ball State first down. Brady Hunt got a half sacks for him last year. Four-man rush, quick to the outside, good for a Ball State first down. Johannes Tyler balls bring pressure from the edge. Paddock stands tall and he delivers to the perimeter. Tyler again, and he is folded up inside the 40, gain of 14. He's huge and he's got elite speed. Here's Jabari small with his first try and he rips off a first down run. He's another USC transfer make it 33. And he punches it through to give Tennessee a 10 nothing lead. I'd hand him the rock and let him run a few people over. There he is and there he goes. Nice move to the outside. And Small's got it after a pickup of 10 when he needed one for a fresh set. Golish on the left side of that shot. Here's Hooker, got a blocker, and he's got six. Touchdown, Tennessee and Hendon Hooker. Used to love it as a quarterback. Your running back gets you all the way down to the one. And hey, <laughs> coach, let me take this one. One yard in for Hendon Hooker. We'll be in Tuscaloosa Saturday night, Utah State. Steele on the edge. He is four for eight to start the night. Over the middle caught. And it turned up field. And a little bit of room from Romel Keaton. And he turns it into a 32 yard game. First quarter still ticking. Tennessee looking to add. Hooker directing traffic and a great open field stop by Ball State. It's like six years old. Yeah, I got to talk to somebody. Can't believe you went with that look. Here's Jalen Wright on the perimeter, and he's able to pick up six. Another stop for the sophomore from Clinton, Maryland, Jordan Riley Scott. Second and goal. Hooker again in his second rushing touchdown of the night. Zone read, and he got the nickel back. Lauren Strickland right here, and Hennon Hooker's going to get eyes on him. Read him. Look how hard he comes out the running back, and there's nobody left for Hennon Hooker. Good block on the outside there by Jalen Hyatt. But the tempo, that's everything, right? It's such a simple play, but when you line up so quick, guys are caught off guard. A lot of the zone scheme stuff that you see being maybe half a step slower than other guys can be a big advantage. Interesting take on that. He was over the middle for a first down, and it's Jayshon Jackson who picks it up. This is a Ball State team that came with the second fewest returning passes in the country behind only Colorado. Sometimes the first year in this is, is really hard to be effective. Hendon Hooker was the outlier. Small again. Still chugging. He's got a Tennessee first down and they shove him into the end zone. Touchdown Tennessee. Javante Spragans hauled him in. Just about 
Javante Spragans, said right guard, and how his technique and fundamentals have improved during the offseason. This is just extra effort. Go find the pile, push him into the end zone. Yeah, because he was the one. He's the crying yeah. football. Yeah. Crying Cole. That's the one way you get the nickname. Deep ball, and it is picked off. Second pick of the game for Tennessee. Kamal Haddon with the takeaway. Condensed set. They're just going smash concept here. A flat with a corner behind it. And John Paddock actually had to drift away to his left. He was falling away a little bit. Couldn't get enough velocity on that. Kamal Haddon in the right place at the right time. And plays that ball really well. Now Vols ran 111 offensive plays against Purdue in their bowl game. Hooker on the run. Touchdown, Tennessee. Bought himself some time. And he found Walker Merrill for another score. Jeremiah Crawford both working really strong protection on the left side there by Mincy allowed and in hooker to work left And I love that about him. He's so dangerous with his legs, but he is always Getting his eyes downfield first. He wants to pass first when he gets outside the tackle found Walker Merrill there And they are knocking on the door ball at the three right again and right carries it into the end zone Thought hooker was gonna be a touchdown vulture again, but he lets Jalen Wright take it the rest of the way. Explosive Jalen Wright. Mixing it up and finishing. On first and ten, they will run it, and it's a huge hole up the middle. Into the five and uh, all the way down to the goal line. Jalen Wright with a 34-yard run. Ball state to see two guys come off the edge and stay outside. Leaving that seam. Right on the inside, Jalen Wright. Last week, talking about the ability to steal signs in college football. It's so much more prevalent than the NFL, where they have the microphone and the quarterback's helmet. Here's Milton changing direction. He's willing to take a hit. 22-yard scamper for Milton. So it used to be you want to stride with it. Now it's more of just a replace, let your hips rotate through. Third and eight. And Hooker's going to be taken down just past midfield. Oh, and we got an extra shove, and that will draw a flag. Touchdown, Ball State delivered on time to Tanner Koziel. Steady drive by Ball State, 10 plays, 75 yards, about four minutes off the clock. Over the middle, complete, and a first down rumble for Tanny, Tanner Cozio, freshman from Bloomingdale, Illinois. Back to live action. They'll run it. And it's another Tennessee touchdown. First of the career for the freshman, Dylan Sampson. Some sexy runs. Anything that ends in six looks pretty good. Ooh, make somebody miss, and Keaton does just that. Oh, wow! Here he goes, Jimmy Holiday celebrating early. 53-yard catch and run. That's what I mean, right? You're going to get a dig route right here. This safety doesn't have anybody running with him, but he turns his shoulders and runs that way, and that's when Milton sees the body language and realizes, I can hit that comeback right underneath. Again, nobody holding that safety, but Milton does a great job of identifying he's running away. I can throw it right underneath. And he will punch it through. Right, you, 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 you want to be able to operate. And that's what coaches are looking for, a guy that can come in and not, not make any procedural mistakes. Right, you can live with that is a good play and he's able to find Jack Jancic and Jancic takes it in and showing some arm strength there that was a tight window throw again you're okay as a coach with physical mistakes by these guys it's the mental mistakes that you don't want to see great concentration there on the catch as well I need action I need motion that's why they don't sign many autographs Tom <laughs> <laughs> boring not like this game, though. Well, it looks really impressive on the scoreboard. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.